in society, we have such an attachment to failure, right? Like, what is failure? Why? What does it mean to fail? What? Why is not accomplishing seven tasks in a day a failure? Why do you need to start back at day one? The mentality behind that is annoying to me, if I'm being honest. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. My name is Louis Chadsky and I'm so glad you are here. If this is your first time, welcome. I hope you subscribe and stay a while. But in general, I really did like the 75 hard challenge. One thing I did learn about 75 hard that I didn't think of before is that it's really not a challenge for everyone. I am going to be honest with you about that. It's not a challenge that everyone should do. Why I say that is because yeah, it's a mental toughness challenge. There's just a lot of things to get done every single day. And I feel like in society, we have such an attachment to failure, right? Like what is failure? Why, what does it mean to fail? What, why is not accomplishing seven tasks in a day a failure? Why do you need to start back at day one? The mentality behind that is annoying to me, if I'm being honest, because not day every day is perfect. And that's something I teach my clients too. I don't, I teach that we learn from day to day. We track in order to make better choices for the next day. If you don't do a workout, you have another day to do it because rest days are imperative in your overall fitness. If you aren't already active, as much as I am, or as much as a lot of the people that are doing the 75 hard challenge, don't compare yourself because it is a really hard thing to do for 75 days. Yeah, this might not be the healthiest challenge for everyone. And I will admit that right away. It is not for everyone. So if you guys are interested in knowing how I'm going to plan for 75 hard in order to achieve it and be successful this time around, let me know and I'll definitely make a video about that if you're interested for yourself as well. But I really want to reiterate that this is not a challenge for everyone and it is not a weight loss challenge. It is a mental toughness challenge and that's how I'm taking this. And you know, at the end of the day, I could have lied. I could have not admitted that I failed. I could have not admitted that I made mistakes, that I didn't remember to read one day, that I didn't remember to track my photo one day. I could have just, you know, omitted that information. Omitted? Um, how do I? I don't even know. I could have, you know, deleted that information from this video or deleted that information even from my mind and subconscious to not even tell anyone. You know, I could have just brushed it aside or under the rug, right? But what good would that do? What good would it do for me not to admit that I wasn't perfect, that I didn't accomplish this the first time around, that I needed to make a plan because my life is so busy already that without a plan of action, it's not realistically something I'm going to accomplish. And I'm okay with that. I understand now that this is a harder challenge than I first gave it credit. I think that's a good thing for me to learn is that things that we challenge ourselves in our lives are amazing things to learn from. And just like starting a business or starting a fitness journey, you're not going to be perfect the first time around you're not gonna be an instant expert. And the idea of having to be perfect, the idea of not being able to fail, the idea that failure is such a horrible thing in life, to me doesn't make sense because I feel like I learned so much from failing. I learned so much about myself, but I also learned that, you know, you gotta make a plan. You gotta do something different in order to achieve something more. And you can't keep doing the things that you're doing every single day and expect different results, right? And so I really do think that failure is not a scary thing in life and that we need to maybe have a better relationship with it. And I hope that this video can show you that I'm not scared to fail. I am gonna try again. And if I fail again, I'll be honest about it because I don't think it'll do anyone any good if I lie, right? There's so many videos on the internet about 75 hard and it was the best thing and it changed my life and that's what wanted me to do it, but I don't see that many people saying they failed it. And I'm curious as to how many people actually forgot to do something one of those days and just didn't want to admit it to themselves or anyone else to have to start over. Yeah, things happen. If it's gonna happen later, it's gonna happen later. But I am committed to making a plan this time around and I do believe that I am going to accomplish this challenge, this goal, this mental toughness, personal toughness, self-development, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. I'm enjoying it. It's an interesting challenge nonetheless, but I did fail and I can admit that and I'm okay with it. I am going to move on. I am going to be a better and stronger person because of it, because I now know how to be successful due to learning from my failures, right? If you don't learn from your failures and that's really the failure at the end of the day, failures are there to teach us how to do things the right way. Everyone fails so many times and without having failures, life would be very interesting. 
Life would be boring if you were just so good at everything right away. What if you were amazing at everything? Would life really be interesting? Would you learn anything? No. From the failures we learn. We learn and make better choices. We learn and become better. We learn and become stronger. I feel maybe I've gone on a bit of a rant about failure obviously, but I feel like it's important to say. And those are my thoughts about it. Those are my thoughts about 75 Hard. What I am gonna do right now is buy myself a pizza from Milano's because I'm gonna celebrate uh, with Friday night pizza. Um, I'm definitely going to order my gluten-free crust pizza. And yes, I do order the gluten-free crust only because I actually think it's delicious. I genuinely love their gluten-free crust. Like, it's not any more charged with Thank you, Milano's, for not charging us more for wanting gluten-free. I genuinely think it's delicious, though, because I can eat, like, four slices of pizza rather than just one of their regular. <laughs> and yes, I eat four slices of pizza on a Friday because why not? I love pizza. And you can't tell me I'm not going to have pizza or you can't. You know, that was one thing in 75 Hard that I'm just like, no cheat meals. I don't do cheat meals. Like, Friday night pizza is a weekly thing for me. Is that considered a cheat? If it's part of my lifestyle? I don't know, you know? So there's like some uh, disturbances I got with this part. With the whole dieting thing, um, you know? I love donuts. I have those like once every two weeks. I love pizza, I like that once every two weeks, you know? I like getting a Tim Hortons sandwich or a Subway every once in a while, you know what I mean? Like, I don't consider these things cheap because I eat them quite often in my diet because I've made them be a part of my diet because on the days that I eat, you know, I'm... I know, I'm going on a tangent of food. I love food, if you can't tell. So that was one part of 75 Hard that was challenging for me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you subscribe, like, and share this video. Definitely comment down below if you want to know about how I'm going to plan for success to achieve 75 Hard in the future. Thank you so much for watching. It's been a pleasure chatting with you today. Bye for now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you love this movie. When am I been in a movie? Foreshadowing. <laughs> okay. Um.